Good evening, viewers. I'm Frank Erickson. We interrupt this broadcast of The Real Housewives of Saskatchewan to bring you reports of a developing story at the local Consortial Claremont University. Here is our intern, <laughs> excuse me, our social media analyst who was recently added to our broadcast team. So could you please explain to the folks out there what's going on? Thanks, Ron. Um, so I was checking my Twitter feed earlier when my friend told me about this huge riot going on on campus. And OK, I love that girl, but she can be a lying skank sometimes. So I did a little bit of investigating of my own. And it's like totally legit. There's all these people for this crazy event going down. I, I see. Uh, my name's Frank. Well, Frank. Frank Erickson. I, I said it at the beginning of the show. It's in the damn title sequence. OK. Look, you've been reading about this event on the Twitter and the socialized media. Could you elaborate a little more about what's going on? I'm investigating. Sure you are. OK, um, uh, let's go to our, our reporter in the field. Casey, could you give us more information about what's happening out there? Thanks, Frank. I'm here at the campus of the Claremont University, where we've received several reports. Oh, We've received several reports of numerous riots occurring. As you can see behind me, elaborately dressed individuals seem to be gathering in on a single location. While seemingly relaxed and jovial, every once in a while we hear shouting and swearing from the individuals, which leads us to believe that perhaps there's some sort of pent-up energy on the verge of being vented. Have you spoken to anyone in particular at the scene? Do you have any idea of what they're protesting? Yeah. Would you please tell us what you and your peers are protesting tonight? Oh, we're protesting being a fucking drag, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be crazy. It's total goddamn riot. Okay. Could you maybe go into a little more detail since you, you didn't really say anything? No. 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 That's literally the third time that this has happened. Well, thank you for trying, Casey. Keep trying to find out more. We're now receiving reports of, quote, a large pillar of flame that is engulfing the engineering school at the, the northern part of the university. Now, whether this event is connected to the riot that is happening at the finance school in the southern part of campus is unclear, but we will keep trying to find out more. We now have in studio River Temple, an expert on modern artistic protest, and a recent graduate of the new New York School for the Arts, Humanities, and Other. River, do you think that the internet may have played a factor in this new creative spirit amongst America's young people? So, so very still. Even cherry blossoms are not stirred by the temple bells. E excuse me? Dark bosomed clouds, pregnant with heavy thunder, the water breaks. <laughs> I don't understand. Intern! Oh, excuse me. Uh, where did you find this guy? Isn't he cool? He's doing this project right now where he only talks in haikus. I think it's like against big oil or something. Haiku? Seriously? And, and what is the horse mask for? What mask? <laughs> uh, um, let's, let's, let's go, go back to Casey. I, I believe she has an update on our current story. Okay, I see. Uh, now this that you're wearing, a lot of other people are wearing things that have normally been associated with the group Anonymous, which has been tied to movements in the past such as Occupy Wall Street and Internet Freedom. Now tell us, are you representing Anonymous here tonight? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anonymous? I told you that my name was Alex. Oh, I'm talking about the Alex. group. The group Anonymous. You don't know shit. You see, I told you, I'm political science. Like, <laughs> like, pow, pow. And I haven't even pulled out the guns yet. I'm like Clint Eastwood. Hey, that is not the question that I asked tonight. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, right? You, oh. What did they say? What are you doing tonight? Oh, I can answer that. I can answer that. Are you putting on me? Back to you, Frank. We now have live via satellite Simon Harris, noted conservative pundit and author of the recent book Progress Schmogress, Why the White, excuse me, Why the Right is Right. Simon's been brought in by our benevolent corporate overlords, the Cola Brothers. Welcome to the show, Simon. 
It's a pleasure, Frank. Now, there's been a lot of confusion about the events that have taken place tonight, but Simon, you say that you might have some insight into what's going on? Indeed. It's simple, really. The students are reacting to Obamacare. Now, there are some problems with the basis of that, but you propose a truly interesting point. So you're saying that the students are protesting the government stalemate by... Descending into hedonism. I excuse me? Booze, drugs, sex. This is Obama's America, Frank. This is what he and his liberal ilk have pushed us to. And nationalized healthcare is only going to make things worse. Why not go out and fill your body with whatever you can get your hands on? Detergent, drain cleaner, bleach. When you know the government will foot the bill to have it pumped out of you. All this delicious depravity without any of the consequences. Who can resist it? I certainly can't. Simon, Simon, l let's calm down and have- I, I, I've done things, Frank. I, my crotch is a petting zoo for STDs. Every night I turn into Quetzalcoatl and wake up covered in seaweed and- All right, um, it appears as if Simon is experiencing some technical and pharmacological difficulties. So in the meantime, let's go back to our reporter in the field who's at the scene of the riot. Casey? Casey, are you there? I'm standing outside of the two tall dorm buildings where most of the students from tonight seem to be gathered. As you can hear, loud music seems to be emanating from the center. All I can see around me is broken glass, damaged property, and puddles of what I pray against all evidence is bad chili. My cameraman seems to have been lost trying to fend off Alex's advances. My sound technician was brought screaming into the gyrating mass that you see behind me. Oh, this is not a riot, I repeat, this is not a riot. This is something far worse. I have one more thing to say. Fuck you, Frank! Fuck you for sending me out here! Fuck you! No! You're fired, and, and, and you're fired, and, and you're fired, and you're all fired!